Nearly every creature in the desert fears the rattlesnake, except one. The king snake. What's up, my wildlife people? Thank you for clicking this video. Highly appreciate it. If you're new here, welcome to the show. I love teaching everybody and anybody about these awesome reptiles that you can find all over the world. And if you're coming back, highly appreciate it. I just hit 100 subscribers on YouTube, which is totally mind blowing to me. Never thought I'd even get to that small of a number, but it's all up from here, baby. So let's get started. So today we're talking about king snakes. These snakes caught my interest not too long ago. I work at the reptile zoo. We got a bunch in the shop a couple, a couple weeks ago. And I really started messing with them. I really started handling them. Super interesting snakes. It was, king snakes were one of the first snakes that I wanted to get as a pet snake, but I, I decided against it and I went for a corn snake. But in the last two months, I went from zero corn snakes to four. Not corn snakes, king snakes. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. So let's get to it. Why are these snakes so cool? So first of all, king snakes are absolutely everywhere. Like everywhere and there's so many different species of king snake you have mexican black king snake california king snake brooks king snake arizona mountain king snake prairie king snakes there's so many king snakes out there i feel like every day i'm learning another subspecies of king snake which is just mind-blowing and luckily i have the chance to take care of california king snakes and mexican black king snakes which are they're pretty cool they're pretty amazing and i'll be able to show you some right now so let's get to it all right, so let's get to it. California king snakes. These snakes are awesome. As you can see by this range map, you can find them throughout California, a little bit in Oregon, down through Mexico, some in Nevada and Arizona, and a little bit in Utah. Now this is this is pretty cool. They have a wide range and they're absolutely amazing. California king snakes usually get around two to four feet, but generally they're found within two and a half feet to three and a half feet. Their diet is a wide variety of many different prey items, including rodents, small mammals, lizards, lizard eggs, other snakes, which we'll get to that later, including rattlesnakes, which is very interesting. Snake eggs, turtle eggs, hatchlings, frogs, salamanders, they, they eat absolutely anything. Birds, bird eggs, chicks, and even some large invertebrates, which is pretty cool. So as you can see here, check this out. So this is my little baby California king snake. Now she's absolutely amazing. She's so gorgeous. Now I call her my little king cobra, or I used to, because she was, she liked to put up a fight. You know, I have some old videos of her gearing up just like a cobra would. It was absolutely adorable, but she is so cute. And she's actually in blue right now, which is pretty cool. But this is one of the many forms that California king snakes can come in. They have such a wide variety of colors and patterns. Now get this. California king snakes are a locality of king snake. You can find them specifically in the range map that I showed earlier in those areas, in those, you know, local areas, localities. But get this, California king snakes have their own localities. So that's locality on top of locality, which is just mind blowing. You know, that's evolution working at its best through these animals to find them the best niche and color and pattern to help them better survive, which is pretty crazy. But you can see this girl right here. So she has the common black and white. Let's get that camera to focus so you can see how beautiful she is. She has this common black and white pattern. You know, this is probably one of the ones that I like the most. You know, it's just really simple. Really, the colors just pop, man. The blacks are black and the whites are whites, which is really amazing. And she's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Now here we have another king snake, California king snake, and you can already see the differences. This is a male, he's a little bigger. Close to max size, I haven't fully measured him yet, but he's just about there. But if you look at his pattern, so he has kind of that same banded pattern, but check this out. So this guy's more of a brownish and yellowish, if you can see that, look at that. And what's pretty cool is, so those, those little bars on the side, those are more white, and on the top, they're yellow. And you can really see the yellow in his head. Let me find that camera, it's a good idea. Look at that head. So that's a really yellow head right there, which is pretty cool. And this is what I mean. So these are both, those two snakes that you just saw, they're both California king snakes. But depending on where you look in California, you can find California king snakes that look completely different from a California king snake, maybe just a few counties in another direction, which is pretty cool. 
Now you can see him using that tongue action right there, and that's basically how he searches around his environment and smells for food. So snakes do have eyes, they just don't work as well as ours do, and there's plenty of snakes that are out there that survive with no eyes, if you can believe that. And that's because they rely really heavily on their sense of smell. So if you notice that a snake's tongue is forked like that into two different directions, and basically, if I were to open the snake's mouth right now, there's two holes at the top of his head. Really interesting stuff, by the way. There's two holes at the top of his head, and when he puts that tongue back in his mouth, it shoots up into his brain, basically. And there's an organ called the Jacobson organ. And the snake collects a whole bunch of scent molecules from in the air, takes it back into his head, shoots it into that organ, and it basically relays that information to tell him what's around him. And the reason, here get this, this is pretty cool too, I just learned this. The reason the, the tongue is forked like this is if there's more molecules on either the left or right fork, that's where the snake knows to head in the right direction. And when it gets to about even, that's when he knows he's getting really close and it's almost right in front of him, which is pretty amazing. It's super interesting how these animals have evolved to work in different ways. All right, now we'll move on to the MBK, what I like to call the most badass colubrid, otherwise known as Mexican black king snake. Now, if you take a look at this range map, you'll see that they're found mostly in Mexico, but they can dip into Phoenix, Arizona and areas like that. And I'm sure you can find others around this little range, but this is where they're more commonly found. And as I brought up before, these snakes are ophiophagus, or that means that they're snakes, any of the other snakes, or cannibalism, if you can understand that better. Now, they'll eat any other snake, they'll even eat their own kind, which is pretty interesting. It's pretty weird if you put it in human terms, but with snakes, it's actually pretty cool. And you can usually guess this, if a snake has the word king in its name, it, eat other, it eats other snakes. Now, there's plenty of other snakes out there that don't have the word king in their name, but they eat other snakes. But that's just a little little good educated guess and good thing to know out there. Now here's another cool thing about these snakes evolution. So since they eat other snakes and they're in the same area where rattlesnakes are found, you can safely assume and it's been proven that these snakes eat other rattlesnakes. Now if you're like me, you're, you're not immune to rattlesnake venom, but if you're like this guy, you're definitely immune to rattlesnake venom. But these guys are immune to venom from rattlesnakes that are found in the areas that they're commonly more found in. And basically, look at this guy, he's balling up like a ball python. Come on, bro, you're a Mexican black king snake. But basically, rattlesnakes have two venoms. They have neurotoxins and hemotoxins. Hemotoxins are more abundant in their venom. But basically, the hemotoxins target tissues and blood, causing hemorrhaging and necrosis, which is what happens if you get bit. You know, your skin starts to turn black. Really painful, haven't experienced it myself. Hopefully, I never do. But you never know what's going to happen. Neurotoxins basically target the nervous system, which can sometimes cause paralysis. Now these snakes have special enzymes in them that allow the proteins of these venoms to just not work. You know, it just basically immobilizes the venom, which makes them partially immune to this venom, which is why you can find king snakes out in the wild eating other snakes, which is very interesting. It's one of the coolest things that I've known about king snakes for quite a while. That's kind of what started me into this journey of king snakes. Because once you once you learn, this is how it goes. You, you see a king snake, you learn it's immune to venom, and you're like, wow, that's pretty cool. Gotta learn more about king snakes. You learn more about king snakes, and then, and then you're really wondering, how are these snakes immune to this venom while I'm not? And that gets you into rattlesnake venom and learning the difference between hemotoxins and neurotoxins. And it's just a full spiral down barrel roll from there. So here's some other cool facts about these guys. So every, every animal has a scientific name and it all means something because it comes from the Greek language. So these guys' scientific name, if I can say this right, is Lanthropeltis Jaluta Negrita. Now what that basically means is Lanthropeltis, Lanthro meaning shield in a Greek and then Jaluta meaning shiny. It's basically talking about their shiny scales and that's their shield, you know, that's how they protect themselves. And Negrita basically just means black. So that's Mexican black king snakes. California king snakes is the same thing, Lanthropeltis diluta, except it's California, which basically just means California. So that's very interesting to know about these uh, scientific names of these animals, which I always find interesting. You know, I love calling animals by their scientific name. I can never say them half the time, but that's still pretty cool. So I almost forgot. I only counted three king snakes. We forgot my little favorite right here. They're all my favorites. I don't like saying I have favorites, but this guy's just awesome. Look at this jet black, dude. If the camera can focus, look at that jet black. That is just amazing. So amazing. 
So there's just a little baby, male, uh, Mexican black king snake. This guy's just so awesome, super small. Another cool thing about these snakes is their defense mechanisms, you know? So their number one defense is running away, you know? If you don't see a snake when you're going on a hike, it was not because they're not there, they probably got the hell out of Dodge before you even know they were there. But these guys, if you do stroll up on one and it happens to stay right there, it'll either bite you and use, you know, use its mouth, which is its number one defense mechanism. It'll musk on you, which is basically spraying this foul substance on you. And it, it smells terrible, it's not really the best thing. But what's really interesting is, since these snakes live next to rattlesnakes in the same area, they basically watch these snakes shake their tail and all the other animals leave them alone because they know, oh, it's a rattlesnake. So what these guys have adapted to doing in their defense mechanisms and their behaviors is they shake their tail really fast and animals, you know, no animal's gonna go and check if it's a rattlesnake or not. They just don't have that mindset because if they think it's a rattlesnake, they're gonna get out of there before they can even you know, decide to think if it's a rattlesnake. So these guys shake their tail really fast, which you can exhibit sometimes because they're trying to mimic a rattlesnake, which is very interesting. And other snakes do this, you know, corn snakes do it, uh, hog noses do it. And I'm sure there's plenty of other snakes out there that do it, which is really interesting. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that king snake video. Thank you guys for coming. This wasn't exactly a care video, but that is on its way. Stay tuned for some amazing Pontes Pythons content. Mm -hmm.